Luke Stolman knows he's just got to beat Hexy to guarantee himself third. And he's doing that so far. No, he isn't. Goes really slowly on the fourth one. hixie has got a window of opportunity. Now, Bish, he needs to win this, and by some margin. Oh, a slip from Stolman. Welcome back to Sheffield, where after four grueling rounds, it's time for our men of steel to test their mettle in our final event. Who will take the title? Here's Radzi to break it down. And so it's all down to the stones and the large looming figure behind me there, Tom Stolten, is now just five stones away from being crowned Britain's Strongest Man 2021. But we know what can happen in stones. In Glasgow, a disaster happened for the Albatross and the man just walking through there with the blonde Mohican, Adam Bishop, would love nothing more than to keep his title south of the border. Can the reigning champion do it again or will Tom Stolten make history for the very first time? It's time to find out. And we move on then to Paul Smith, who is also sixth equal overall, as was Pio Dwyer on 17 and a half points. The three times England's strongest man champion. He's, of course, the local boy, Paul Smith. And he's up against everybody's favorite, Mark Felix. From Blackburn, England. There you go, age 55. Mentioned it before, we'll mention it again. It deserves mentioned every time he goes into the field of battle here against men under half his age. Still in tremendous condition, Mark Felix. And there it is, 23.58 seconds by Andy Black, the time to beat. Now, Mark Felix is a absolutely tremendous stone lifter, but he is prone to making errors, just rushing it, trying to gamble a bit. A slight skiff of the rim on the second stone of Phoenix. This is what he can do. He's immensely powerful. And <laughs> look at that. That was around about the 25 second mark. It's going to be very close to what Shane Flowers did. And uh, indeed, Pyro Dwyer and Paul Smith looks a bit disappointed with that. 25 27. Oh, goodness. Really tight. Just behind O'Dwyer. And Paul Smith just never gotten the game there on the stones. Mark Felix, if he hadn't fumbled, he could have been the fastest. Well, Danny, we're down to the final four, and look at this arena. What an atmosphere. Luke Stoltman applied all that tacky to his hands to help. He does apply it, he doesn't secret him. Graham Hicks lands in fourth after four events. He could be a real spoiler here for the likes of Fish, though. In a good way. He needs uh, these two guys to do well. Hopefully, Bish can get in front of them, and then uh, perhaps Tom Stoltman could flounder again, as he did in Glasgow. Remember? Let's see what these two do here. Luke Stoltman knows he's just got to beat Hexy to guarantee himself third, and he's doing that so far. No, he isn't. Goes really slowly on the fourth one. hexy has got a window of opportunity, Danny. Well, look at this. It looks like. Stoltman's just done himself out of bronze. Hicks very fast. Goodness me, he's behind Andy Black. Hicks, he's in the lead. My goodness, a two-point swing. That may well do it. We'll have to wait till the end to be certain on that one. Well done, Graham Hicks, the lineal champion. The man who never lost his title could well have got third here. Luke just went far too slowly on the fourth. Still smiling. Well, having watched that, Adam Bishop knows exactly what he has to do. Well, this man, as ever, standing in his way. Casting a huge shadow. Yeah. Feels like a rerun of uh, last year, doesn't it? These two men shooting it out in the stones. Adam Bishop did just enough that day. Big Tom won it, of course, on the stones. But uh, didn't win overall. Now, Bish, he needs to win this, and by some margin. Well, just two epic stone lifters here, and it comes down to the fifth. Oh, a slip from Stolman, but he still gets it up quickest. Bishop struggling, but manages. And Tom Stoltman takes the Castle Stones in a brilliant time. 
18.85 seconds. Adam Bishop, fourth place in the Stones, 22.33. He know he needed those results to be switched the other way around. And yeah, look at that, quite right. It's uh, the opposite of last year. This time it's Tom Stolman. It goes north of the border for the first time since 1995, I think, Danny. It's the opposite of what Bishop said he wanted to happen. So the title goes to Scotland, and this man, the epic athlete, Tom Stoltman. He's, he's had the bronze, he's had the silver, now he's got the gold. Such a brave effort from Adam Bishop. What a journey this man has had. Lost his mother not long ago. He's an inspiration to the autistic community and the strongman community. Graham Hicks, that's not a trophy, that's his child. Such a good showing, made his family so proud. And a bishop, well, it's a bittersweet moment. Takes the silver. So Tom Stoltman's incredible time of 18.85 seconds means Obviously, he took the Castle Stones. Uncatchable, really. And the final standing show. Well, England takes third with Hicks, and England takes second with Bishop. But Britain's strongest man is Scottish. And he is Tom Stoltman. For the first time since 1995, Danny, a Scotsman. On top of the Britain's strongest man podium. Well done, Tom. Stoltman, Britain's strongest man 2021, mate. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm buzzing. You know, I said that, you know, before even, for me, I've won it before I even walked in here. You know, I was confident. I was, uh, my energy was flowing. I was so positive. I had positive people around me. And, uh, yeah, I just did that for myself. You know, it's, uh, I wanted to make a statement tonight. You know, I won it by six points, got redemption on the stones and was consistent. And uh, with that five weeks of training, you know, what can I do when I have 12, 13 weeks of training? So I'm buzzing, you know, so. And you brought the title back up to Scotland, mate. Yeah, 100%. I said I was going to do it, and I did it. So uh, <laughs> it belongs in Scotland, doesn't it? So. Well, 2021, Britain's Strongest Man, Tom Stoltman. Congratulations, Thank you very sir. much, guys. Cheers. Well, redemption and triumph there. Tom Stoltman is Britain's Strongest Man. And as ever, there's just one more thing to do, Colin. And I think you should say it this time. Is there time for a montage, Danny? Oh, Colin. There's always time for a montage.